guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Anytime, anywhere. Today we are in London, staying at the Ham Yard Hotel. I rearranged the room so I could get my workout in with you. And any methods. So it's gonna be a nice full body class today. Just getting everything really warm and worked. So I'm gonna have you guys meet me on all fours, hands and knees. You don't need any equipment for this class. You're gonna plant those hands right underneath those shoulders. I want you to open up through the collarbone, draw your low belly in, and we're gonna take some cat-cows. Inhale, lift the chest, pull the shoulder blades together, and lift the tailbone up. We're into our back bend position. Now push the floor away actively, round dome up through the spine, and kick the shins into the ground, lift the navel. Spread your upper back muscles apart. Inhale into the back bend. Chest up, hips up. Abs are still lifting and engaged. And then exhale, push the floor away from you. Palms pressure, shins kick down. Lift the abs, lift the rib cage. One more each way. Inhale into the back bend. Draw those shoulder blade muscles together. Exhale, scoop and around. Push the floor away. This is our spine stretch. Move your back muscles apart from each other. Find your neutral spine. You're gonna walk your knees back. Lift your heels up, pull them towards your booty. Abs are up. This is our modified plank, okay? You're gonna bend your elbows wide to the side and we're gonna come down into a hover. You're just gonna hold this position right here. So we're integrating the arms. We're heating them up quite a bit. We're in a halfway hold. You should start to feel the chest muscles fire up. We're relaxed in the neck. When you're in your push-ups, I want you to make sure you're not letting your face fall. So your face is still lifted away from the mat. And then connect with that breath. We're breathing in. We're breathing out. Elbows are wide to the side, and I have pressure into my pointer finger and my thumb. So we're gonna be using this shape a bit during class. <laughs> so get comfortable with it. You're here for your last 20 seconds. This was a minute hold. Well, almost, when we finish it will be. Okay, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven. Don't fall to the floor. We're gonna push up in five, four, three, two, one. Press it up. Nice work. We're gonna add some legs to that. So hands a little bit wider than those shoulders. You're gonna bring it down into that halfway hold. And then we're gonna lift the belly and extend that left leg straight back behind you. We're gonna lift and lower that left leg squeezing into the left glute. Firing up our legs now. Arms are already worked. Good, you're here for 10, nine, eight. Nice job. Breathe out, breathe in for five, four, three. We're parallel, toes are pointed. Two, one, bring the knee in. Press up, inhale, switching legs. Coming halfway down, extend the right leg, kneecap to the floor, toe pointed. We lift, we lower. We're firing up that glute. When you lift at the top, you wanna make that glute into a fist. Last nine, eight, gazing slightly out in front of you, not letting that head fall. Final four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in, press up. Hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna find a high plank. Legs glued together. I want you to find that inner thigh connection. Press your heels back. Reach the crown of your head forward. Breathe, we're just holding here. I'm playing around with isometric movement today. So sometimes those freezes are mentally challenging, right? Because you're trying not to, to move around. It's like harder to not do anything. But we're mentally tough, we got this. 
I want you to find a balance between over rounding your upper back and over squeezing your upper back together, yeah? So you want to be right in the center. You're, you're strong in your upper back, you're not sinking, but you're not so puffed up that you have too much of a kyphotic curve. We don't want hyperkyphosis here, nice balanced spine we're looking for. Okay guys, you're halfway through this plank hold. Another thing I really like to emphasize with planks is if you're in this plank and you're just letting your abs relax and hang out, you're kind of losing a lot of the benefits. You gotta lift your core, pull it in and up. Final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees coming down. Okay, so where we're headed is a closer grip. I'm just gonna switch my mic, because I'm bumping it. So hands are gonna be more narrow. Knees are coming back into that modified plank. Shoulders are down, now your elbows are gonna go by your sides. You're gonna hold. Hug the elbows in, make sure those shoulders haven't pulled up onto your neck. Pull them off your neck and open the collarbone. So you don't want to round the fronts of the shoulders together. We want to stay spread apart in the chest. You got it. We're going to slowly press up for a count of 10. Nine, we got this. Eight, seven, really slow. Six, pull those elbows next to your body. Four, three, two, one. Okay, all the way down onto the stomach. Chest is lifted, kneecaps to the floor, legs hips distance. Lift your legs up, reach your arms back behind you, palms face the ground. So we're sticking with the arm work, but the whole body is integrated here. We're gonna lift and lower the arms, drawing the shoulder blades together. Reach back through your fingertips. That reaching back energetic action, maintaining that, it's gonna help keep those upper traps pulled down off the neck. Yeah, we're creating those pretty postural muscles. <laughs> Good, squeeze through the back. That's it. Legs are lifted. Booty is tight. Chest is up. Okay, you're just gonna flip your palms and continue. Good, thumbs in, palms up. Working into the posture. Eyes, is, eyes are down once you see what I'm doing. So be careful of being this guy right here. So you, you can look at this right now. <laughs> see how much of my neck I'm crunching into? Not, not so good for the posture. So gaze to the floor. Okay, you're gonna hold those arms high. You're gonna pulse up, flip the palms down, pulse up. Flip the palms up, pulse up. Flip the palms down, pulse up. Good, so we're rotating through that whole arm bone. It's not just the palm. The whole arm should spin in that shoulder socket. We have 10, 10, nine, nine. Can you lift up a little more through your legs and your chest? We got seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, that's it. Three, three, two, two, last set, one, and one, and fold it down. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes. When you press up into your plank, I wanna make sure the hips come off the mat at the same time, so here we go. Push into the floor, we lift. We're in our nice high plank. Good work, guys. Okay, reach forward through the crown of the head. Let's widen our stance for this one. You're gonna come down into that halfway push-up hold. We're advancing. So you're halfway down. We freeze, we hold, shoulders off the neck. You got this. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Don't collapse. 3, 2, 1. Press it up. We're going to try it with the narrow push up. We got this. So walk those hands in. Elbows are going to point back towards your kneecaps. Pull the shoulders down. Elbows to the sides. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring those knees down. Stretch it back. Child's pose. Shift those hips right and left. You guys are doing great. <laughs> 
Okay, we are gonna come back in to some more extension. So come to lay on your belly, float the legs up, knees face the floor, make a W shape with your arms. I want you to reach overhead like you're trying to grab something and then pull the elbows back to the W. Okay, you're gonna try to keep your chest and legs lifted. Inhale as the arms go long, exhale as you pull it back in. Inhale out, exhale in. Nice job. Okay, so that gazes to the floor. I'm trying to keep my arms high. So when I reach overhead, try not to have them down here, yeah? That's a lot easier. We want them lifted. Okay, you're gonna give me eight. Breathe in and out, seven. So those back muscles are coming together. They're also pulling down. Five, four, three, two, last one, one, and float it down. Okay, we're gonna press up to all fours. So knees underneath hips, hands as wide as the mat. This is gonna be our abduction, but with a little push up, okay? So we're gonna be down into that halfway hold. Abs in or up. Knees are underneath the hips, so it won't be as intense for the arms. Try to keep weight in that left hand. We're gonna open that left knee out to the left, and then we take it down. Out to the left, squeezing the outer hip, then we take it down. Okay, keep that chest low. Spine is flat. And notice, you're not leaning over with that right hip. So pull that right hip right above the right knee. You are turning the whole left knee out. Left knee, left toes should point to the left at the top. Good work. You guys got 10, nine. I like to pause at the top of all the movements and really feel it, let it fire up. Good, six more. We got six and five for four and three. You're gonna come into a hold, shocker, in two. Hold that left leg up, left leg stays still. Pulse the arms, one inch up, one inch down, slow. One inch up, one inch down. Heavy left palm, try not to lean right. We have eight, seven. Hold and squeeze that left hip. In five, four, we're gonna change the tempo in three, two, one, fast and small, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, press it up, good work. Okay, so I'm gonna stay facing this way so you can see what the other hip looks like. So you get kind of a different view, a different bird's eye view. So hands are wide as the mat. We come down into that push up hold, belly in. I'm trying to keep weight in my right hand and hug that left hip over the left knee. We open that right knee to the side. We lower it down. So notice when I open the right knee, I don't lean right. It's not about that. So the elbows are in a static bent position. They are not going up and down. We're not leaning side to side. They're in that same position the whole time. You guys got this. Open squeeze, pull it down. So this is our abduction. This is that outer right hip working. Okay, we got eight more right here for eight. I like to exhale on the work which is the whole time, <laughs> but uh, that's where we're lifting that right leg up. Four more right here. We got four, three, two. Okay, coming into that hold, right leg up. Slow, one inch up, one inch down. Into it, out of it. Never fully straightening those arms. 10, slow, 10 quick. Nine, up an inch, down an inch. Do not let that right leg drop. Do not lean into your left hip. Last seven, six, five, four. You guys got this, let's go. 
three, two, one, pick it up. 10, nine, burn it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it up, bring that right knee down. Okay, we're gonna lay on the stomach. We've got some more extension work. Legs are lifted. We're not lifting the legs so high that it pushes our low back into a really big back bend. The low back is definitely curved slightly. It is working. But the other thing is, if you lift the legs up so much and you feel like your stomach is just hanging out and resting on the floor, also be careful of that. Lift your abs, let them work here. Toes are pointed, chest up, legs up. I want you to imagine you're trying to clap your hands behind your back. So I don't want you to actually touch them and bend your elbows. Elbows straight, just squeeze together. Okay, and arms are lifted. So feel those triceps working for you. So the arms aren't here touching your thighs, they're behind your back, okay? Lift your chest, lift your legs. Here we go, we got 10, nine, eight, find more extension, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, freeze, turn the arms out. Think of clapping the back of your hands together. This is deeper, externally rotated in the shoulder, which will create more of an active stretch, okay? Arms up, chest up, fingernails, sides of the hands trying to squeeze in. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one. Release and let's take a child's pose. I like to do child's pose after a lot of extension. You gotta release that low back. Okay guys, we're gonna come into a forearm plank. So we are gonna take our palms and turn them upwards. Elbows underneath the shoulder, press and spread your fingernails apart. Click them into the mat. Bring your feet all the way together. That's more advanced than widening them. Find your inner thighs. We're playing with the isometric squeeze here. You're gonna squeeze your legs together really tight and then release. So the legs are not visibly moving. It is from pressure you are creating in your body. So it would be the same thing as me squeezing my hands together and releasing. Squeezing, releasing. It's the pressure you're applying. This is firing up your inner thigh muscle. You're welcome. Squeeze, release. Okay, push the back of the hands into the mat. Pull your collarbone forward. Find that inner thigh work. Squeeze, release. Nice work. Hug it in, let it go, lift those abs. Okay, so it would be the same thing as when we squeeze our butt and release it. So there's nothing like visibly really moving in the body. Okay, we're just gonna pick the tempo up quick. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're changing it to the butt squeezes. So you might be able to see this one a little more. So I'm gonna squeeze my butt really tight, release. So you're drawing your sits bones together, releasing. Squeeze the glutes, release. Squeeze your butt. <laughs> and release. Starting to shake. Squeeze those glutes, release. I'm still trying to keep those inner thighs connected, but I'm focusing on iso squeezing the glutes. Nice job. Give me 10 more, 10, nine, eight. Think of hugging a dollar bill between your tush. Six. Five, four, you know what we're gonna do? Three, we're gonna pick it up. In two, and one, I need 10 quick. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Okay, we're gonna go into an Eve's lunge to stretch the hip flexors. Left foot steps forward and wide, knee over ankle, hands underneath the shoulders, Step that right leg back, let your hips drop down, and lift your chest up. Take a little breath. Good work. Okay, let's switch sides. Left leg back, 
All right, leg forward, knee over ankle. Couple breaths right here. Oh, that feels very nice, huh? You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go on to our stomach again. And now our focus is gonna be the lower back extension. So I'm gonna have my chest slightly lifted. So we're gonna have those forearms together, hands interlaced, elbows underneath shoulders. I'm gonna tuck my hips slightly. Knees are a little wider than my hips, so almost as wide as the mat. Bend your knees and bring your heels together. Flex the feet. Okay? When I lift and lower my legs, I'm not going to seesaw, I'm not going up and down with my upper body. Upper body stays still. So I'm going to lift my legs, hover the thighs off the mat, squeeze those heels together really tight. you got a 10 second hold. Thighs are up, heels are pulling in, don't straighten those legs. Now lower the thighs and lift. Squeeze up, lower down. So that glute squeeze we did in our plank, that is operating right now. Legs lift, you draw the glutes together. Legs lower, you can release the glutes. So your glutes squeeze in, and then they release. Okay, so the upper body has a little bit of weight in it. It's super fired up from those push-ups, so you might be shaking the arms. Now your inner thighs are also working here by applying the pressure of your heel bones together. So push your heel bones into each other. That is gonna help your inner thighs activate. So this is lower back, glutes, hammies for sure. Who else is feeling those hamstrings? Click on, squeeze up and down. So I'm lifted in my chest, I'm not hanging out here. Yeah, we are holding ourselves nice and proud. Okay, you're gonna give me 10 more, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. This sun, you stay up there. Give me those slow pulses. One inch up, one inch down. Try not to get the knee down, so I'm not gonna ever rest for this one. I'm staying up, slow up, slow down. Slow up, slow down. Heels tight, belly and ribs in. Four, three, two, I want fast for 10. Keep it up. 10, nine, eight, seven. Oh, that burns so good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I love that. Okay, downward facing dog. Hands wide, or in Pilates we call it elephant. Feet about hips distance apart. Send your hips up and back. Drop your right heel, bend your left knee. Stretch that out. Relax your head. Swap it out. Drop the left heel. Bend the right knee, stretch it out. Okay, one more each way. A nice hamstring stretch for you. Switch it out. Good, and then come in to a plank. You know there's always a catch if I'm giving you a stretch. Okay, so guys, hands are right underneath the shoulders. Legs are zipped up together. I'm pulling my heart forward, keeping my body in one nice long line. We are gonna do some chest squeezes. So, it's like the isometric squeezes we did in our glutes and our inner thighs. I want you to think of pulling the hands towards each other and then releasing. So it's not, I'm not moving anything. I'm thinking of my hands are stuck in cement. I'm trying to move them closer to each other. You can see my biceps fire up when I do that. And then I'm releasing. So this is gonna really work those arms. Squeeze, release. So it's like I'm trying to drag my hands to the middle of the mat and then I let it go. Okay, so you're hugging all the muscles in the arm together and then releasing. Good work. Squeeze and release. Nice job. Get that chest to pop. 
Not actually, that would not be good. We don't want to pop our chest muscles. <laughs> Squeeze and release. Awesome work, guys. You can give me five more of these for five and four for three and two. Last one, squeeze and release. Keep your plank. So we're gonna bring this to the abdominals. Isometrically, you're gonna pull your belly in really tight and then you're gonna release. You can see my abs lift up. You can see them release. Yeah, I'd love if they always looked like that. <laughs> That's me holding it in, okay? So lift your abs, pull them away from your pant line and then release. Suck the stomach in release. Okay, so this is a foundational movement we have to know when we do crunches. If your stomach's hanging out like that and you're crunching, you're going to grow your abdominals out. We want to pull them in when we go into those abdominal crunches. So this guy is going to revisit us later when we get more into those abs. Okay, I want you to pick it up and add an exhale. <sighs> Blow the air out of your body as you draw those abs in. Here we go. Lift through the low belly. Lift through the pelvic floor. Let's do 20. Nice and quick. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Breathe out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Come to your belly. We're going to go one more extension move of class. It's a stretch. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tops of the feet push into the floor. Kneecaps lift. Lift up through that heart. Big breath in. Look right. Look left. Rotate through that neck. Two more. Look right. Look left. Come to center. Bring it down. Moving on. Okay guys, so press it on up. We're gonna go into our side facing series and we'll begin kneeling. So you're gonna have this left knee underneath your hip and you're gonna step this right leg straight out to the side. I want your toes pointing forward and your right foot will line up with the left knee. Bring your fingertips behind your ears. We are now going into lateral flexion of the spine. So it's gonna be like a side bend. Imagine your back is against a wall. You're gliding directly over to the left Shoulders, hips stacked, and then I'm gonna pull up through that right oblique, okay? So we're gliding directly to the left. Then I'm feeling this side, that right oblique pulls us up, okay? To modify smaller range of motion, to advance, take it further into the side bend. Do not let your hips move around. So lower half is still. Okay, we're going to pick the pace up just slightly. Inhale, take it out into your side bend. Pull up and over through that right oblique. Good work. Inhale. Find that working area and then slowly return. Okay, longer time under tension. More effort, more work, more results. Okay, so I'm not rushing out of it. I'm enjoying, I'm hanging here. And then I'm lifting back up. You guys got it. Inhale into the side bend. Feel that side body click on and then draw yourself back up. Very nice, guys. Breathe in, get long. Breathe out, pull up. Good, you're gonna give me three more. Breathe in, get long. Breathe out, pull up. Oh, I love when I feel that shaking. So good. Okay, this one's the fun one. We got an ISO hold, so take it to your sweet spot. Stay there. Get long through the crown of the head. Let that right side really turn on for you. We got 10 and a nine. Can we get a little lower? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, draw it up. We're gonna take it halfway. We're going to keep the hips still. Spine twist with more oblique work. So we're in that side over. You're gonna twist to the left. Three times, three, two, one. Inhale, center. Twist further, 
further, further. Right hip has not moved. Inhale, center, breathing. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. Can we lean into it a little more? Here we go. Breathe out, out, out. Inhale, center, good. Through the mouth, exhale. Through the nose, inhale. Good work. Four more. Twisting through the ribs, not the hips. Last two. Last one. And use that right side to left. Good work, let's take a little side body stretch. Arms to a T, bring that left hand underneath the shoulder, flip the right palm to face the floor, stretch it all the way over, press your hips forward, lean your head back. Okay, so we're stretching out what we just worked. And then you're gonna use that right side, pull yourself up, woo! That side is turned on. Let's turn it on the left. So onto the right knee, left foot lengthens out to the side, foot knee line up, hands behind the head, so a couple slow. Head is back. You're gonna hinge over to the side. When you're to the side, remember we're not rushing to lift. We wanna feel that left side talk to us and then we slowly return. Breathe in. As you side bend, breathe out as you lift. Inhale into the side over. Exhale into the lift. Okay, also we're paying attention to our hips not moving around or sticking out or pressing forward. Yeah, we've got a little arch in the low back. That natural curve is present. Good. I do like to think when I'm returning that I'm lifting up and over. So you know how we kind of round into a crunch? So this is like a side crunch. I want you to think of doing that same rounding action to pull yourself back up. Okay, let's try to get a little bit lower if you're more advanced. Let's move that out of the way so it doesn't bother the mic. Inhale into the side bend. At the bottom, that top shoulder should not be forward. Okay, pull it onto your back. Exhale to pull up. Good work. Inhale over. Exhale, return. Okay, we also, that we worked on in the plank, that isometric abdominal contraction, we need that here. Pull your abs in. Okay, we got three more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good, last two. Soften through the shoulders. That's a personal reminder. <sighs> okay, this is the fun one. We're gonna go into our hold. So find your side over, hang out there, lean your head back at a little lower. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, into our spine twist. So watch that this left hip doesn't pull forward. Hip bones should not move, okay? Here we go, find your side over. Turn three times to the right. Three, two, one. Inhale, center. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. I want deep rotation. Go for it. If you want, you can put that left hand on your left hip and kind of pull it back to keep it in place. Maybe we can lean a little bit more into it. You guys got it. Three exhales through the mouth. Three, one inhale through the nose. Three more. Last two. Final one. And then use your side to lift. Take those arms to a T, let's stretch it out. Right hand underneath the shoulder, left palm flips to the floor, reach it overhead. Press your hips forward, big side body stretch. Oh, that feels fabulous. Okay, use your abs, roll yourself 
up. We're gonna go into side kicks. So we're gonna switch sides again. The position looks very similar, but it won't be the obliques, it's gonna be outer hips. Okay, so onto the left knee, right foot goes out, arms to a T, bring that left hand underneath the shoulder. I like to be on my fingertips, it's totally up to you. Fist, palm, fingertips, top hand behind the head. Okay, pull the right leg up, flex the foot, toes and knee forward, make sure that this left hip doesn't come over here. The left hip is over that left knee. This is where we start. Hello, again, to that isometric hold. So what you should be feeling is that the leg's not just lifted, it's engaged. We're firming the thigh, we're drawing that knee cup up, and we're lifting high enough that this right side is contracting. So that's what we're contracting into. If it's too low, I don't feel anything here. You could definitely feel it there, I'm just letting you know. If you're not feeling something turn on, lift it up a little bit higher, okay? Good. Okay, you're about halfway through this hold. I want you to lift. Imagine something's really heavy on top of your leg and you're pushing it up. Okay, we got 20 seconds right here. Foot flexed, thigh firmed. Hopefully we got some shakes going on. Low belly is in. Count it down 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, do not drop that leg, 4, 3, 2, 1. We got slow pulses, up an inch, down an inch. I like to put my hand here, so if you want to, just squeeze into it. Sometimes that's a good cue. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, you got it. Give me 8, 7, don't go too low on that down, 6, <laughs> Five, four, three, two, hold it up, fast for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yes, that does it. Let's switch sides. So we're kneeling on our right knee, extend that left foot out to the left, foot in line with knee, arms to a T, Bring that right hand underneath the shoulder, left hand behind the head. So press your hips forward, lean your head back, flex the left foot and we lift. So strong heel, so the foot's not relaxed. Push through the heel, pull your kneecap up. Draw this right hip in. Another thing I've been working on is untucking those right toes. That takes away stability. It makes it harder, that's why we're here. If we keep doing the same thing, we're not getting any stronger. That is not why we're here. Okay, pull up through that outer hip. We're about halfway, it's a minute hold. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Push up, feel that contraction through the hip. Smile with me. It's not that bad. Okay, we got 10 seconds, but don't drop that leg. Okay, here we go, last seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow lift, slow lower. Good, checking my form, slow lift, slow lower. Woo, feeling that outer hip really work for me here today. Slow lift, slow lower, you got it. We got five, four, woo, three, two, we're gonna pick it up right here, hold it up. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, the burn is real. So let's hit those inner thighs. Come to lay down on your right side. I'm gonna lay it all the way down. Right leg to the front corner. Left foot is gonna be knee bent, either on the toes behind you or plant the whole foot. I'm doing toes, that just works for me. Put your left hand in front of your chest for some support and turn your right knee out. That is the setup. We're gonna lift that leg up and you guessed it, you're gonna hold it there. So just like we talked about that outer hip, if you're lifting here and you can't feel anything and you're like bored and yawning, then you're not doing it right. It should be work. So lift it high enough to feel this upper inner thigh turn on. Rotate the knee down so we don't wanna be parallel. We wanna be in a turned out position. Bring this top hip forward. Lift, 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 lift. Don't let that leg drop, okay? Squeeze it up. 
Awesome job. I want little slow pulses. One inch down, one inch up. Down, up. Down, up. That's it. Little pulses. Try to keep your knees straight. Pull up through the thigh. So I don't want this, right? One long line for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh yeah, I'm starting to feel ya, 4, 3, 2, pick it up, nice and quick, lift and lift. When you pick the pace up, make sure you're not adding momentum, upper body is still. Here we go, 10, 9, higher, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Directly into the other side. Okay, so we're gonna lay over here on this left side. Extend the left leg to the front left corner, bend the right knee, you're onto the toes or the foot, and plant that right hand in front of your chest. Turn the left knee out, lift it up high, and squeeze. So we're in that isometric hold. My shoulders and hips are slightly unstacked. It's for comfort. For me, being directly on my outer hip really does not feel right for me. So if you can completely stack, that's great. This is not wrong. Remember, you want to make the exercise work for you. If you have pain, it's a no-go. Okay, you squeeze up and hold. Turn that knee out. Point those toes. Firm your quad muscle. Get those legs to work for you. Okay, eight seconds. We're going to go into those slow pulses right here in four, three, two, one. Up an inch, down an inch. Lift, lower. Amazing. Squeeze, release. Up, down. See the muscle that you're trying to work? Think about it. If you think about it, it's going to really help you get that mind-muscle connection that we are all after. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it high, pulse it quick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay, guys. It is everyone's favorite time. Come to lay on your back. <laughs> we are getting in to the core, my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna have you bring your legs into a little diamond shape. Toes touching, heels apart. Knees a little wider than shoulder distance. Modification, head down. Otherwise, fingertips on your head. So you're kind of stabilizing your skull. Your head is relaxed in your hands. Abs are isometrically drawn in. Did we see that? This is relaxed. This is connected. Relaxed, connected. So pull the abs in. Lift your chest up. Let the head relax into the hands. Okay, it's a little bit of inner thighs still. You're gonna squeeze your knees together and then open them up. Squeeze, open them up. Toes are touching, heels are not. Squeeze, open them up. Chest is lifted, so head is not down if you're sticking with me. If you need to modify, go for it. Squeeze, release. We worked on all this earlier. Isometric ab connection. Isometric inner thigh connection. Create pressure, relief. See if you can sustain that flexion of the spine. Okay, we're gonna go quicker. 10, nine, eight, seven, good work. Six, five, four, three, Two, hold the inner thigh connection. Reach your arms forward, extend your legs, lower them, pump the arms for hundreds. Inhale for five through the nose, exhale for five through the mouth. Watch me. Reach through your arms, lift up and over your ribs. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. As you press those arms down, I want you to think of pressing your abs down and down. Four more sets.
last two. Last set. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Hold. Little pulses of that chest. Ten, nine. Squeeze the abs and inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay up there. Slow switches of the legs. Little slow flutters moving from the hip joint, so not the knees. The whole legs move. Okay, pick it up. Kick, 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 kick. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees in, breathe. Good work, guys. Okay, massage that low back into the floor. Roll it around. Nicely done. Okay, you're gonna come onto your forearms now. So your elbows are underneath your shoulders. We got some more lower abs right here. So the chest is not sinking down, chest is up. We're coming into that same position, toes together, heels apart, knees apart, without letting your pelvis move. So slightly tuck, I'm gonna dip and lift. When you lift back up, visually see your abs draw inwards. Right? That's the important part of the core work. It's what your what muscles, or I don't want to say what muscles, but yeah, what muscles and how you're using them. Okay, so if we're letting momentum and our stomach just kind of hang out here, it's not gonna be as effective. Okay, and it might even cause injury, so you just want to be careful about that. Let's find that breath. Exhale to lift. Nice job. Good, give me six, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Legs straight up to the ceiling, keep the pelvis still, we're going to go into leg circles, you're going to go down, separate, circle up, connect. So this is your core, but it's also really good for hip mobility. There is a fluid in your joints that when you do movement, motion, circular actions are really good, as we're doing now. It helps lubricate the joint, it releases that fluid and it kind of massages it all around. So we like that. <laughs> Keep the stomach in. Awesome work, guys. So this is traditionally done in Pilates at the end. It's called legs and straps. Um, we don't have the support of the strap to hold the weight of our legs up, so it becomes a core exercise. <laughs> Last one, you're gonna reverse and circle the opposite way. Separate at the top, abs in, lower down, connect to the bottom, exhale to lift. Inhale, separate, lower down, connect, lift. Good, breathe in, breathe out, connect, pull up. Good, give me four more for four. And three. For two. Last one. And one. Okay, you're gonna come into the bottoms of the feet connected. So this looks like a butterfly shape. Heels close to you, so not out here. But I don't want your knees relaxed. I want them lifting up. So the whole bottom of the foot is touching, but your knees are not relaxed. They're squeezing up. Squeeze your feet into each other. We're gonna go into some butterfly, rolling spine, pelvic curls. So you start in a neutral. I have a little space between my low back. First action is to scoop the hips so the low back flattens. Then you're gonna peel up bone by bone through that spine. My glutes engage, my ribs are staying drawn inwards. Then I'm gonna roll down bone by bone. Inhale, unround that low back. Find the natural arch. Tuck your tailbone, low back flattens. It doesn't have the arch anymore. We roll up, we're only going to something called our T-point, where the ribs connect. So your chest 
should be pressed into the mat. And then you're gonna roll that spine back down and inhale. So this is called spinal articulation. It should not be hard in the sense of the physical effort is really challenging right now. So we're kind of cooling the body down. This should be mentally challenging. You are trying to move just one inch of that spine up and down at a time. This creates flexibility through the bones of your spine, of your back. Okay, we're gonna go three more. Breathe out, curl through your spine, roll up. Breathe in, roll through the spine and round down. Last two. Oh, this one feels so good to me. Okay, one more right here. This is like ultimate TLC for the low back. Okay, roll up and then bone by bone, roll that spine back down. Okay guys, we are in to our stretch. So you're gonna send that right leg long and extend your left leg straight up to the sky. Hold your leg with your hands wrapped around the thigh. I want you to completely straighten your knee so if your leg is here and your knee is really bent, I want you to push your leg away from you until it straightens. If you're able to keep your butt down so it's not up here, then you can hold a little higher on the leg. Flex your foot, reach up through the heel. Okay, back of the leg. Take your right hand to the outside of the left leg. You can hold the thigh or the shin. You're gonna bring the leg a couple inches across the mat. Now keep your left tip down so we're not really twisting the torso yet. Pull your left tip into the ground. So notice that this left tush hasn't lifted. Keep it anchored and I like to use my hand to kind of give me that cue. Ooh, that feels nice here in that outer hip. I'm staying active in the leg so knee is straight, foot is flexed. Good and then relax that left leg, extend it straight on the floor. Extend your right leg straight up to the sky. Grab the back of the leg, flex the foot, and press your leg away from you into the hands. Okay, try to create that natural curve in the low back. Don't pull the leg so close to you that the knee bends or your butt lifts up. Yeah, so that low back is flattening. We wanna to try to create the natural arch. Okay, couple breaths here. Flex the heel, spread the toes. Okay, this is the IT band stretch. We're gonna go left hand, palm facing in, thumb pointing down, pulls the leg a few inches across the body. Look at your left leg, the, the leg on the ground. Try not to let it turn out. So bring your left toes and knee and left hip bone, point it straight up to the ceiling. That's gonna keep the pelvis neutrally aligned. Right hand to the right hip crease, press it into the mat. Good, active through that. Oh, right foot. Good, and then release. Both legs long on the floor. Arms reach overhead. We're gonna do one roll up. Tuck your chin, pull your abs in. Roll up and over. And let's take a forward fold. Good, I'm gonna add a little sway to that low back. Ooh, that feels nice right there. <laughs> Just loosening things up. Good, and then roll all the way up, cross your legs. I'll stay sideways for this. Good, let's sit nice and tall. Wrap your hands together, draw your elbows and shoulders together. You're gonna reach your fists back without hyperextending the elbows, so keep a soft bend, and lift your chest. Okay, drop your right ear to the right shoulder. Nose should point straight forward. And then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Good, head back to center. You're gonna look as far to the right as possible. Really try to look over the shoulder. And then as far to the left as possible. Try not to turn your torso, so it's just the neck. Okay, come back through center. You're gonna interlace your fingers in front. Lift up through your low back. You're gonna round just the thoracic spine. So your low back isn't gonna tuck. Low back stays stall, tall, pull your chest back, push your hands forward and lift up through the spine. Woo! Then we're gonna sit nice and tall. I'm gonna face you, reach those arms straight up. 
Okay, we're gonna pull the arms back past the head, soften your shoulders and lift as tall as you can. Take a nice side body stretch to the right, stay squared, and then a nice side body stretch to the left. Oof, good work my friends. You guys did amazing, that was a full length workout. Thank you for joining me today for a full body Pilates based workout in London. It is a little cloudy today. My husband kept looking out the windows and being shocked there was no sun and I was like, I think this is pretty normal for, uh, for London, but being from Los Angeles, we're you know, really used to seeing the sun all the time. So I hope you guys had a great workout with me. And my name is Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And I can't wait to work out with you again, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.